this robot is working on a building site. There have been significant advances in the technology and the digital platforms. They can work alone in elevator shafts. We can be a lot quicker with the robot systems than when we drill the usual way. Robots will transform the construction industry. It could make building less costly. But what will happen to builders? Experts say that simple but physically strenuous tasks could soon be in the hands of robots. It's already becoming a reality in Switzerland. A robot is in charge of building this framework for concrete reinforcement. These are the last few tests before it goes to market. A completely new kind of robot with just the right touch for the job at hand. In our process, the robot presses against the framework, which creates a contact weld. So there's an algorithm that regulates the amount of force that's needed and load cells so that the material is applied in a controlled manner. We're not necessarily trying to be faster or better than a human. The robot makes it possible to create a larger variety of shapes, which gives us more flexibility in terms of design. The RISE robot is having its debut in Dubai. In skyscrapers, it does the work normally done by fitters in elevator shafts. For example, the robot knows which drill bit to use. The robot receives a configuration file, meaning a program that's specifically designed for that elevator shaft. It needs to be able to recognize its dimensions and know how many holes it has to drill and where. Despite the benefits, few of the robots have been sold. The construction industry is conservative and tends to be slow to adopt innovations everywhere in the world. It's been quite a slow process, but now it's getting underway. And there's no turning back the clock. More and more robots are going on the market, like robots that can drill overhead. We'll get back to the robotic dog in a minute. Robots also make building cheaper and faster because they also mean that more and more components can be made in factories. The way we work will change, but the jobs won't disappear. Demand is high, so high it can barely be met. We're now in an interesting period of transformation in which we could reduce costs and make it possible for people in the construction industry to work in parallel with robots on site and often to work in jobs that are more pleasant, in factories that handle prefabrication. The dog is still a prototype. It scans the building site with a laser, recording what's been done and spotting where the mistakes have been made. The RoboDog is the same price as a mid-range car. Building companies say that the price can be quickly recouped. For example, if it sounds the alarm because a safety fence is missing. Another benefit, robots can work 24-7 and don't clock off at the end of the day. <laughs>